Hi, Chris here from USP Motorsports. Today we're going to be doing a review on our newest product, which is the USP Oil Dipstick Line. Just to give you a little history about this product, how it started, was one day a technician came to me and said, Hey Chris, we need to make oil dipsticks for the new Audis. I said, well why? He says, I'm sick and tired of taking this expensive tool out of my toolbox every day and checking the oil in this Audi because it doesn't have a dipstick. I said, hmm. That's kind of a good point. I said, what exactly would you want in the dipstick? He said, something that's 100% in there at all times that me or a customer can check if they're stuck on the side of the road, if they bring their car to a shop. So some of you might be watching this video saying, well, my car is a dipstick. Um, some of the newer Audis do not have dipsticks. Actually, all the newer Audis. Anything from 2010 to 2013 and 14, 15, the majority of them do not have dipsticks. Any of you 3.0T guys will know that if they've ever tried to check their oil, there is a small plastic cap sticks into that tube, you pull it out, there's no dipstick on there. The cars do have a low level indicator, but if you're stuck on the side of the road with a low level, you don't know how much oil to put in. You could put a quart, you could put two quarts, you don't know how much is, is too much. Um, so here at USP, we have designed a dipstick to fit all your needs when it comes to checking oil. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into a little bit about the uh, technical aspects of the dipstick and what it can do for you. All right, so now we're gonna get into a little bit of the features of the uh, USP Billet dipstick. So we're gonna start with, go ahead and unpackage it just to make sure that when you guys get it at home, it comes with all the uh, correct stuff in the bag. So not too much in there, uh, nothing more than a dipstick fold it up, and as well as the instructions. So let me talk to you for a second a little bit about these instructions that come in here. Uh, most of us I know, we all, we're all smart, so we just throw away instructions. Uh, but with these, I would, would ask you to take a second and read them because the, they're actually pretty important and they're actually, they, they have some meaning to them. So each particular application is gonna have a different low and high, as you can see here. Uh, it's not just gonna be a standard dipstick. Uh, the reason we did this is we made one cable for all the applications and we changed lengths uh, to help save you guys money in the long run. So keep this handy, keep it in your glove box. If this is your car, cut it out, stick it somewhere. That way to make sure you know where your low and high level is. Uh, so important, please don't throw these away. Uh, these, are, uh, these will be needed. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the, uh, the actual features of the, of the dipstick here. So we're looking at this dipstick and we're saying, okay, this is nothing more than just a billet handle and a cable. Uh, well, actually a lot went into this, you know, between materials to make the top out of, how many O-rings we're gonna use it, how we're gonna secure it, how we're gonna hold the cable to it. So I'm gonna talk a few about that and kind of get into the difference between ours and maybe a factory dipstick. So as you can see, we have a billet aluminum piece. Uh, after that, we have a steel constructor cable after that, we have steel ends that are pressed on. So a few key features on that is since this is a steel constructed cable, it's obviously not gonna be able to be welded to this aluminum piece. So some might ask, well, how is it held in? Is it gonna drop in my engine? Um, well, the answer is no. We actually did a steel cable with a set screw. So if you can look in here, you can actually see a small set screw that goes in there and it, it locks in pretty hard. I mean, you can, we, we've hung five pounds of weights on this and uh, it, it's not coming out. So you don't have to worry about this falling in your engine. So that, that's definitely a cool feature about the USB oil dipstick. Uh, another cool feature is our O-ring system. So most of the oil dipsticks have one O-ring on them. The problem with that is any of you high horsepower guys will know that after a, a long quarter mile run, they'll, they'll come back and see that their oil dipsticks popped up. Well, the reason that is from crankcase pressure, uh, so we kind of took note into that and said we're going to do multiple O-rings on each particular each particular handle to make sure they're secure. Uh, so if you buy this product after you install, you will see this is kind of hard to pull up. And the reason we did that is is purely so it doesn't pop up, blow oil over your engine bay. Um, so that's our multiple O-ring design we did on this as well. Um, other than that, we went ahead and stamped it with oil. So if you're taking your car to a Jiffy Lube or anywhere that maybe doesn't know where the oil dipstick is, uh, you got your, your big letters that say oil over there, uh, as well as we branded it with our USP logo. Um, so as far as the cable itself, we have a steel constructed cable. As you can see, it's easily, uh, easily folded for packaging. 
uh, but also pulls right out straight so it doesn't affect the length or anything. Um, then at the end we have the pressed on steel cable fittings. Uh, so these are going to be your high and your low levels. So once again, like I said, these are important to look at the instructions uh, to see where your, your low and, and high levels are. Alright guys, thanks for watching our review video of the USP oil dipstick. Uh, for more information or all the applications, go ahead and click that link in your screen right now. Uh, any questions, concerns, comments, either post them on YouTube, give us a call, email us. Uh, we're normally available 24 hours a day here at USP Motorsports. Thank you.